Hello guys, you can see that I'm using Mac OS Teho and my AMD PC. Let me see about this Mac. And you can see I'm using on my AMD PC 5600G processor and it's working perfectly fine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS Teho on any AMD PC. So if you want to install Mac OS Teho on any AMD PC or laptop, then you are welcome to this video. So without getting much more delayed, let's get started. First of all, you'll have to download these files. But for downloading these files, you'll have to generate the UEFI. If you don't know how to generate UEFI, the video link will be given in the description. You can simply generate your UEFI by following this video guide. Now you'll have to download these files. One is Explorer++, Minitool Partition, All Related Taho Image, and Refuse. All the link will be given in the description too. So if you want to download Taho Image file, the video link will be given in the description too. Now before proceeding with the method, make sure that your BIOS is updated to the latest version. Now go to the download folder and open Refuse. Click on Yes. Click on Yes. Now select the Olayla file and drag and drop it to the Refuse. Minimize this. Now you will have to insert a pen drive to your PC minimum 32GB. Close it. Now when the pen drive is inserted, you can see it's detected. Now click on start. Before starting, make sure that every data on your pen drive is backed up because in this process you'll lose every data on your pen drive. Click on start, click on OK. Now you'll have to wait until the process is completed. Now when it's completed, you can see it shows ready. Close it. Now again, go to the download folder and here you'll find Explore Plus Plus and Mental Partition. First, you need to install the Mental Partition. Click on Yes. Now install it. Install is installed. Now it's OK. Click on Finish. Now click on Launch Application. Now it's launched. Now you can see this is my USB drive. And now select the EFI drive here. Right click on it. Click on Change Later. Click on OK. And click on Apply. Click on Yes. Now it's done. Click on OK. Minimize this. Again, go to the download folder and now extract the export plus plus and open the folder. Here you'll find export plus plus. Right click on it, run as administrator, click on yes. Now, here click on download and here is this is my EFI. Right click on it, click on copy. Now go to this PC and here you'll find the EFI D drive. Open it and just right click on here, paste it. You can see it's done. Close it. Now close it. Now right click on store menu, select disk management and here you will have to create a drive with minimum 100 gigabytes of size. Right click on a bigger drive, click on shrink volume. Now I have chosen 110 gigabytes of space. Now after choosing a space, click on shrink. Now it's shrink. Now you will find an allocated space. Right click on it, select the new simple volume, click on next, click on next, click on next. Put the name as Teho, click on next. Click on finish. Now it's done. Now it's time to reboot your PC and access the BIOS menu. To access the BIOS menu, you can refer this photo. Otherwise, you can search in Google. In the BIOS menu, change the following parameters. After changing the following parameters, press obtain on your keyboard. Select yes. Now this time, you'll have to access the boot menu of your PC. To access the boot menu, you can refer this photo. Otherwise, you can search in Google. Now from the boot menu, Select USB and hit on the N key. Now here you'll have to choose install Mac OS beta and hit on the N key. Just wait a few seconds. Now in the screen you'll have to select the language and click on here. Now select disk capability. Click on continue. Now click on the drop down. Select show all devices. Now you can see Taho is here. Select the Taho. And click on erase. Click on the drop down, select APFS, click on erase. Now it's done. Click on done, close it. Now click on install Mac OS beta, click on continue, click on continue, click on agree. Again, click on agree. Now here select the drive Taho, click on continue. Now you'll have to wait until the installation is completed. In between the installation, your PC may restart several times. Whenever your PC restarts, you'll have to access the boot menu and you'll have to boot your PC using USB drive. Now again from this boot menu, select a pen drive and hit on the N key. Now select a Mac OS installer and hit on the N key. Now here you'll have to wait 15 to 30 minutes.
again from the boot menu, select open drive and hit on the N key. I can select the Mac Watson Storer and hit on the N key. Now again from the boot menu, select open drive and hit on the N key. This time you will see Taho. Select your Taho drive and hit on the N key. Select the USB drive from the boot menu and hit on the N key. Select Taho and hit on the N key. Now select the language and hit on this icon. Now select the region and click on continue. Select setup as new. Click on continue. Click on that now. Select my computer doesn't connect to internet. Click on continue. Click on continue. Now click on continue. Now set up your Mac OS. Now to set up your account. Click on continue. Now click on agree. Click on agree. Now click on continue. Select the news. Now select the time zone. Click on continue. Click on continue. Set up later. Click on continue. Click on continue. Select so done now. Click on continue. Select your themes. Click on continue. Click on continue. Welcome to macOS Taho. Click on continue. Close it. Now let's take about this Mac. And here you can see macOS Taho is installed on my AMD PC. Now open this install macOS Taho beta. And here you'll find files. Open it. And here you'll find open core configurator. Double tap on it. Close this. You can also close this. Select this application. And here you'll find tools. Click on it. Select the Mount UFI. This is my SSD where I have installed macOS. Click on Man Petition. Put the password of macOS and click on OK. Now click on Open Petition. It's open. Put it here. Now you can come here. Select the Mount Petition. This is the petition of USB drive. It's mounted. Click on Open Petition. Now here. Put it here. Open the UFI. You can also open the UFI here. And here just select this two right click on them select copy and come to here right click on here select paste two items click on replace click on replace now it's done now you can close everything now restore your mac and boot into windows Now after rebooting your PC, click on the start menu, search for CMD, run as administrator, click on yes. Now you will need this command. The command will be given in the description too, hit on the N key. Now it's completed. I'm just rebooting my PC to show that dual board is working. You can see there is no USB connected to my PC. Now let's rebuild my PC. Now you can see it is success. Without USB, I can build into my macOS and even Windows. Dirtboard is completed.